is different. What's up everyone? I'm out with Ozark Overland Adventures and I'm in the Ozarks with 15 of our patrons. This is our annual spring Patreon weekend in the Ozarks and I absolutely love these events. We do these, um, we do events twice a year, one in the spring and one in the fall. Uh, the one in the spring is a small gathering like this. Uh, we max it out at 15 people and the spots go for this in less than 60 seconds. It is absolutely insane. And then we do a bigger event at Maris Adventure Park in the fall that uh, anyone, can, that everybody can come to if they want to. Um, so this is just a, a small intimate gathering of, um, of some of our patrons and we're gonna go out and hit some trails here in just a minute. And it's gonna be an incredible weekend. We've got a whole lot of Jeeps here. Um, all JLs and JTs, one, one JK. Uh, we have three full-size rigs, uh, one, one Ford F-350, big old 2500 power wagon and the 1500 Ram. Um, and one, one, one Toyota, Land Cruiser uh, 80 series, I believe. The last of the great Toyotas um, is, is with us. So super pumped to see that on the trail. And then we've got uh, a, a Land Rover that, that, that Bryce brought. So it's gonna be a good day. So if you're in group one, you're with me this morning and we'll do the waterfall trail. I've got the waterfall. The water crossing trail, and we'll do a little trail maintenance at the beginning. Uh, if you're with group two, you're with Bryce this morning, and y'all are going up that trail, the, our, our moderate level technical trail this morning. And if you're in group three, you're with David, and y'all are going to the waterfalls. Okay? Uh, uh, you are more than welcome to jump in and swim uh, however long David gives you. Yeah, Bryce, what do you drive? The Discovery, the blue Desco right there. Okay. Swim until I Might want to put a Jeep in front of him. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll go in front of you, sir. <laughs> All right, the day has begun, and I think it's gonna be an amazing weekend. Uh, we do have some pretty incredible weather. It is eclipse weekend, which I didn't realize that that was the case when I planned this. I mean, I've set this date six months ago. Uh, but we got super lucky with the campsite, and uh, it, it's pretty incredible. There's, there's not as many people uh, out camping in this area as I expected there to be. But you also can't see an eclipse you know, through the through the forest either, so maybe that's why. Um, but we are headed to, um, on this route, on, on this trip, I just call it the, the, the water crossing trail. So we've got, it'll be a, a trail that has four or five uh, really nice water crossings on it. They're not too deep right now. We haven't had any rain in a little bit. But they're at that perfect level where they're get full and they're beautiful so I'm like
Gonna do some trail maintenance here, especially since we've got those full-size rigs that are gonna be coming through here later in the day. Thought we'd clean this up a little bit. Look at that smile. It uh, never ceases to amaze me on these trips. One, how quickly they fill up. Um, and just, just the fact that people choose to believe what we're believe in what we're doing and support our channel um, financially. Um, that's and that is not uh, that is not something I take for granted. Um, these are always such special weekends for me. Um, just because I get a chance to hang out with these people and you know get to know them better and that sort of stuff. And I just really appreciate what they do because I mean without them we wouldn't be able to to travel like we do and make all the content that we do. So um, if you're interested in you know becoming a patron like these guys. The, the links in the description uh, it's it, it's something that I struggled with doing initially um, but people kept saying we want to support you we want to be able to to be a part of your journey and that's just crazy to me um, so it, it's awesome Are you in four wheel drive? Well, Valerie's engine died when she hit this hole, but she's nowhere near her air box. So we're gonna tug her out of here backwards and figure out what's going on. All right, we checked the air box. There's no water in there. It started right back up. Oh, that was her that died. I may have spoken too soon. All right, there was no water ingress at all. Um, there is a check engine light on now. So we've got a code reader here. We'll see what it is. I got a good friend of mine that says this uh, off-roading stuff is uh, hard on our vehicles. All right, well, the diagnostic showed crank and camshaft position sensors, which is very common on these uh, 3.6 JKs after 120,000 miles. She's got 170 on it. Well, unfortunately, we can't figure this out. It's not running smoothly. It feels like a fuel issue, but we don't know. It is The computer is saying that it's running lean, but she also has the camshaft position sensor issues. So. I, I don't think it has anything directly related to being in this mud hole. Um, which is just odd, unless there's a crack somewhere that we don't know of. So uh, we're going to prioritize getting her out of here now. So we're going to push her this way, get the rigs turned around, and head back the way we came, because that is the shortest way back to camp. All right, straighten out, Val. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. I'm back in the trees. Yep, turn your wheel the other way. Keep going. And Valerie, yeah, steer as best you can. Yeah. Yep, there you go. Well, this day's not starting out so great. Hopefully, we get her back to camp and there's some people there who know more about engine diagnostics than we do. 
and can get her back up and running. You gotta get those white jeeps dirty, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> Still gonna get sucked into this hole. Yep. Well done.
All right, got a different group, taking them on a different trail. Uh, should be fun. I've got the the two big, uh, the thirty, the three, the F three fifty, and the Power Wagon twenty five hundred. So we'll see how it goes. Should be fun. Y'all, this is Stefan in the blue 4 by e And he came all the way from Quebec, Canada to oh, be man. with us. He is he sets the record for the person who came the largest the longest distance in any of these and first one ever out of country. So we're so glad you're here. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> I mean, you're just a great big Jeep. Well you're you're a great big Rubicon. I would never say this to you, but I call it a Jeep, but for men. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! But I started following your channel because we had a Gladiator that I loved. But it was too small. And then you got a Gladiator on steroids. That's it. There you go. And it does it, buddy. <laughs> what year is your Land Cruiser? 97. 97? When did they, this is the 80 series, right? Right, last year. The last of the great 80s. The last of the great Toyotas. Yes. <laughs> when they killed them with the front axles. Saw it with the IFS. I love these. This this is the one Toyota I would own. Well, and an FJ40. Yeah, for sale. Are they? Yeah, not yet. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Could you suck the sides of this thing in just a little bit? A Give me some room on the trail. That'd be great. <laughs> it is so much fun to me introducing people to the Ozarks who have never been here before. I just love seeing the smiles on their faces and just love seeing them soak this in and uh, this is the best time to be here. Uh, it, it just makes me excited. I get asked quite a bit if uh, full-size rigs can make it through the Ozarks and the answer is yes if you know what trails to stay off of. There's definitely some trails where they would be highly problematic and not the best idea if you really love your paint although no vehicle in the ozarks is good if you love your paint but especially a full-size rig May have gotten turtles. He's high soon. I think he may have become a turtle. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, let me back up my Jeep. All right, he's coming around the trees. The full-size rigs, I don't think they're gonna fit through that as a, as a bypass. All right, we're gonna try to Keep them on the higher side so they don't high center on that rock in the middle. To a little more driver. One more driver. There you go. A little more. Oh, you're good. You're coming up in the front. There you go. 
Say hello more driver. Right there. Hold that. Keep coming. All right, now turn passenger just a little bit right there. Come on, come on. Come on. All right, you're over the rock. Come on. Yeah. Good job. Stay right there. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. There you go. All right, come back passenger just a little bit right there. There you go. All right, you're over. Beautiful. Do you guys have the EKG for the heart? <laughs> <laughs> I might have lost her in one part of this. Stay low passenger, there you go. Just ride that, hold that right there. A little more passenger. Keep coming forward. Keep coming forward. There you go. Come on. You got it? You coming up? Got it. You about to drop in. There you go. No ground clearance issues at all. Those 80 series Land Cruisers are absolute beasts when they're built up like that. I mean, he didn't even touch his belly. I drugged my belly. I took the same line he did and drugged, didn't get stuck, but um, he didn't even touch. They're, they are impressive rigs. Uh, I just hate that <sighs> Toyota doesn't make those anymore, or at least you can't get them in states. I think they still make solid axle, solid front axle vehicles overseas, but we can't get them, which is a shame. Oh. oh, just Frank. Yeah. That's what they're for. Well, that was fun. The uh, open road four wheel drive Panther Series 2 winch, it has never let me down. That was a pretty hard pull too. I didn't realize how steep the exit of that hole was. Probably should have checked that first. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty steep and I was just hung up right here on my belly. Oh well, that's uh, harder wheeling in the Ozarks. All right, Stefan's coming through here. All right, straighten up. There you go. Go slow. There you go. Straighten up, straighten up, straighten up, straighten up. Oh! All right, back up. All right, right there. Whoop. All right, come on. Good job! <laughs> All right, Stefan's gonna try more passenger line. There you go, come on. There you go. Let me get up that. There you go, piece of cake. All right, they're gonna give it a go. Going a little more passenger. Push it on the frame. 
back up and give it a little forward. You're not, there you go, now go forward. You got it, you got it. Oh! You are hung on your rear bumper, bad. Yeah, yeah, I would not try backing up here. All right, we're gonna try to just winch it out with the power wagon. Straighten up. There you go. Yeah, that's his biggest problem is you can push it sideways. I can't keep up with you. Keep coming. Oh yeah, your first time using your winch is to rescue a Ford. I hope you got that on video. I did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. You're good. You're getting sucked in. There you go. All right, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, don't stop, don't stop. There you go. Well done. Coming down. Barely scraping his belly. These things are so crazy. On the back. There we go. Got it. Oh, he's in there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought he could do it. Oh, those all-terrains aren't doing any favors. Yeah. Do you need cheap help? Um, you are firmly planted on your bumper. Huh. Um, you're not getting out. Um, I'm just, I'm concerned about how dug in you are on the bumper. Okay. You can't back up at all. A little bit. Turn drive, see if you can turn driver and back up at all. No. We're winching him from behind because his front end was just dug in. There was no way to get a recovery point on there. Those AT tires in that mud have just turned to racing slicks. All right. Hey, now cut back. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun. Whew. I think that was the last of the challenging mud holes we are about to pop out on highway for uh, maybe a half a mile and then we will actually reconnect where we turned off and go back down the rocky section so kind of a kind of a loop out and back because trails are radically different going the other way than going this way so that'll be fun
you go. Come on. goes sometimes. Well, everybody's back. It's warmed up, so I changed shirts. And everybody had a great time. I can't wait to see the footage for David's group. Uh, Y'all have already seen it, uh, but, uh, but I haven't yet. So I'm excited to see that. Sounds like they had a great time. Uh, but now it's time to just relax. It's almost 5 o'clock, so about time to start cooking some dinner here. Uh, it sounds like Valerie's Jeep is running really well. Um, it's just been idling. We're going to take it for a test drive here in just a little bit. Make sure it's it's doing okay, and we're going to have a good evening. We've been hanging out, having a great time, we're just talking and getting to know each other. Everybody's starting to cook dinner. I'm actually cooking dinner tonight. Um, got some chicken thighs on the Scotty grill. Vegetables, having some fajitas. So that's the plan. Sun's starting to set. It feels amazing now. It, it's such a good weekend. All right. Um, anyway, anyway's here. Um, everybody have fun today? Absolutely. Yeah. Good. Well, we everybody's got one more one more round tomorrow. How many um, dents do I get tomorrow? So do I? How many more dents do I get tomorrow? Uh, that's good up to you. <laughs> Although I think it's, it's called sand it. Which trail have you not been on? High water or low the water, water. crossing one? The muddy hole water. Oh, there's yeah. some options in there. There's some yeah, options. Yeah, nice. I'd like to take this time to, first of all, thank y'all for what y'all do uh, to support Karen and I in this crazy dream and lifestyle that, that we have. Um, really, without our patrons, we wouldn't be able to travel like we do. Uh, we really do. Because you guys are huge foundation for allowing us to do what we do and we do not take that lightly and i always get choked up when i'm doing this uh, but just it felt really weird <coughs> just letting complete strangers say hey we want to support you um and it's still weird um but over the year i mean we have developed some great friends we have you know, got to know some amazing people we have yet to have a patreon event where we have left and thought oh that person's got to go Everybody has been so awesome. I mean, so genuine, and just the way y'all live on us is it's crazy humbling. And so, thank y'all for that. This, I was having a conversation with somebody the other day. Um, this is a, a single burner stove from Fire Maple. I, I was really on the fence if I wanted to give this one up. Um, but it's the fact that it's a single burner, and I love my jet boil with the dual burner. Um, 
this this thing is awesome. Oh. Uh, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Devo's Light Ranger. Um, we have a nice collection of these, so um, let's see. Uh, Eric! Woohoo! Yeah, these are a, a set of ratchet straps uh, from Roller Cam. It's actually what I use to, to haul my bike up here uh, with it. They're crazy quality straps. That, um, anybody going to, who's going to more expo? Several of you? Roller Cam's one of the big sponsors at More Expo this year, uh, doing, sponsoring the whole storyteller area. So if you're there, check out their booth. They've got some crazy cool stuff. Uh, but some straps, and then my favorite thing, uh, they're rope rollers. These are super way to just sit stuff down, awnings, all that sort of stuff. I absolutely love rope rollers. Yeah. Valerie. Oh, yay! There you go. This is a small fridge. It's a it's a the set power FC15, a uh, little 15 liter fridge. We use this for a little bit in the back of Kara's Jeep. Yeah, you know, if you're going out on just day trips or an overnighter solo, these little fridges are awesome um, to, to take with you. Or if you just need a, like a dedicated drink fridge. Uh, William. Oh, good morning. We slept so good last night. The temps were much milder last night than the night before, so just a light blanket on top is all we needed. Um, we've already had several people that had to leave. We, we have some people that come from all over the country to this event, and now out of the country. Um, so some people had some very long drives ahead of them, so they had to go ahead and bail this morning. Uh, but the plan is still uh, to gather up and go run more trails. And should be another amazing day. Uh, should should go hit the trails, be back here by noon, and then probably you know pack up and then then head on on our way. So it's a good weekend. All right, we're off. It has actually started raining. I don't think it'll last long, but it's raining enough to to keep the dust down, which is good. Um, <laughs> the group I'm with is uh, all Jeeps, and they. They, they tend to like the harder trails. So they have convinced me to take an alternate route to the waterfall. And so, so that's what we're doing. We're, we're gonna head out uh, to run one very short and sweet, but very technical trail and then head up to the waterfall. So but we'll, we'll see what we get into. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Again. Yeah, 
All right, so the rest of us went around this. I did not like how wide this hole got with all those sticks, but he's the widest of all of us and has the biggest tires. So he's going for it. There you go. All right. Come on. Come straight. Stay a little driver. Stay a little driver. Awesomeness. Piece of cake. I can't see you. He's fine. Yeah, he's in good shape. Uh oh. There you go. Man, even you lifted a tire. Uh, that, that looks way worse than it is. It's only 24 degrees off camber, so not bad. All right, well, that concludes the wild and crazy portion of uh, this adventure. So slap it back in a two-wheel drive and we'll head to the waterfall. It's kind of a tradition for me to jump into the waterfall at the end of these weekends. So I'm gonna try to see how many of these guys I can get to jump with me. I, I know at least a couple are. Was refreshing and it was. Woo. Great. if you're uh weren't awake beforehand you definitely are, are now, now. I needed to try like a right private now. people yeah. <laughs> all right well that was awesome that's time to get dried off
got it. Well, looks like uh, we did get some damage sustained. Uh, that's 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 not supposed to fit like that. So what happened? It was a huge drop off, and I started sliding towards the bank, and I wanted to save the truck side, so I sacrificed the bumper. Well, that's that's an excuse to upgrade. Uh, F three fifty shouldn't have been on that trail. <laughs> <laughs> but you made it, and I mean that could be now bent need, back in. I need an overlanding. There you go. Well, we got all packed up and are headed out. Uh, let me use this stuff. On the phone. All right, we got all packed up and are heading out. Um, me and Bryce and David are gonna head to Russellville and grab an amazing burger for lunch. So, I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to join us for an Ozark Spring Patreon weekend, or our big fall gathering at Maris Adventure Park, check the Patreon link in the description. That is, that is how you gain access to those things. Uh, but uh, if you would give me the YouTube love, like, subscribe, all those things, and for Shop Overland, and for all of our merchandise, go to shopoverlandapparel.com. See you next time. Bye.